Good morning, you guys. It's Taylor. I wanted to address this little issue I had with the new update uh, 42.2, I believe, or 46.2, whatever it is. Um, you might have had the same problem. So, car was normal. It was charging. I go here. The light was red, and I couldn't take the charger out. Immediately right there, you should call service just to confirm what the issue is. But um, And all these warnings were up on the screen. Um, so what I did was I went here and I pulled the lever here to release the charger. So right, it released out and I then began to check the screen and all the warnings were still there. My car was unable to charge. Even after that, I'd put the, I put the wand back in. It still wouldn't charge and I still couldn't remove it and I had to pull it again. Um, the first thing that you should do with this problem is make sure it's not hardware. Make sure it's not physically your charger's messed up. So calling Tesla, they'll guide you through it and help. I did that after the fact, but I figured this out. So I waited, I just closed the car, I waited around six to eight hours, I think it was. And then all of a sudden, all the errors went away. I charged the car again that night and it's been working just fine ever since. That was two days ago. So. All the warnings are gone, everything's okay. So this leads me to believe two things. One is that it is definitely the update that's causing the issue. And the reason why I think is because this update, whatever this one is, 9.4.2 or whatever, is the cold winter update. Um, here in California, it's not that cold, so it couldn't be the temperature clogging this thing up. It was actually hotter than today when it broke. So. And it all just went away like magic, right? Temperature didn't change. It was in my garage the whole time. So um, that leads me to believe that this update on my car, and it might be on yours if you have this problem too, is because of this winter package and it's a little faulty. So, so if I was in this situation again where it was all red here and it had those three warnings, which I'll show you, and you couldn't get it out, what I'd probably do is get on the phone with Tesla first and let them help you resolve the issue, knowing in your mind that if your magnet isn't broken and your pins aren't broken and the charger's not faulty and it's not freezing cold and you're not outside, let's say you're in a warmer garage even if it is cold, um, I would assume that it is a hardware issue and I would take into assumption that it would be the same thing that happened to me. Um, so I'd have Tesla guide you through, but I'll tell you what I did was I did pull this lever, pulled out the charger, and it was still all red. I checked two hours later, still all red. And then I decided, you know, red as in this was red. And then all the warnings were still there. After all that, I would close the car up. Everything closed it up, leave it in the garage for eight hours and do not touch it. And after that, I stepped in the car and I saw the warnings for a second and boom, all went away. Everything's gone, charges perfectly. I've supercharged, I've charged it normally and boom, it's all good. So um, I hope this helps you out with your issue. If you can't get into the service center as fast, um, I would recommend always calling the service people. They can help you through this and they've probably dealt with a ton, but that's my take on it if you needed a quick fix for it. If it is a hardware issue, just pray that your car is charged enough to get to a service center. All right, guys, thank you.